In this problem, we're asked to find a polynomial called p of x, okay, polynomial uh, called p of x with degree 8, so I've listed that over here, p of x is, is its name, this is just function notation to replace the y variable in an equation with two variables, um, has leading coefficient of 1, so I wrote that down there, and then it also has roots, now roots, that's another way of saying zeros, and if they're real number zeros, that would be x-intercepts or roots, okay? Um, so when they said roots, I knew it meant zeros, zeros of the function. Well, what happens at an x-intercept? If you picture the xy plane, um, anywhere you're on the y-axis, the x is always zero, and anywhere you're on the x-axis, y is always zero, right? And remember, the function is the y part, okay? P of x is the actual function name for the y portion of, a, of this equation. So when we talk about the function having zeros, we're talking about when the equation has, or when the, the function has a y value of zero. In other words, an x-intercept. Right, and these are also known as roots, as I said. So I put it down here as zeros So when does the function become zero? That's what we want to know and they've given it to us. They've said um, This happens when x is equal to zero. So basically the origin right the point zero zero will be an x-intercept um, with a multiplicity of says multiplicity 3 at that x equals 0. Moving on, we have a multiplicity of 3 at x equals negative 1. So at x equals negative 1. So what that would create is the ordered pair negative 1 comma 0 because again the y value would be 0 there and this time we have a multiplicity of 3 again. All right and multiplicity of 2 at x equals negative 2. Okay so we have x equals negative 2 as another root or 0 of the function, so that would result in the ordered pair negative 2 comma 0 with a multiplicity of 2. Okay, so now we can use those um, multiplicities um, to create factors for our polynomial equation with their exponents. Okay, so these will be binomial factors so for um, x minus 0, that would be x minus 0, right? That would be the factor. Um, because if you plug 0 in here, you'll get 0. So if I raise this to the power of 3, that will represent how many times this factor is part of the polynomial. So always the multiplicity. And this has to do with why the behavior at x-intercepts can vary. It has to do with how many times that factor is part of the equation, the polynomial equation. Um, now we can take this other root or this other 0 at x equals negative 1 and create another binomial factor x minus negative 1. Oh, and I forgot to mention for this one it simplifies to just x because of course x minus 0 is simply x so we can get rid of that and then we don't even need the parentheses anymore. So x to the power of 3 um, and then this one is going to be double negative becomes a positive, All right? So notice that if we plug negative 1 right here in place of x, then we would have negative 1 plus 1, which is 0. And this has a multiplicity of 3, so this would be to the power of 3 as well. And then this last one, we have a 0 at x equals negative 2 with a multiplicity of 2. So that would result in x plus 2 quantity squared as uh, the factor of x plus 2 would be part of the polynomial equation twice. Alright, now with all of that, 
we can now put our polynomial together um, and using the lead coefficient of 1. So we have 1 times x to the power of 3. And I guess I don't need that there. 1 times x to the power of 3. Then times x plus 1 to the power of 3. And then times x plus 2 to the power of 2. And I need this to be a plus. And 1 times x cubed is just x cubed. Okay, so now writing that out, so that would be my polynomial function p of x. Now, it did say degree 8, and we didn't use that as we were coming up with this. So let's just double check that our polynomial that we came up with here is, in fact, a, a degree 8 polynomial. So what we want to do is take all these exponents and add them together. So notice that 3 plus 3 is 6 plus 2 is 8. So it fits. And that is our answer right there.